Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make an amazing leave-in conditioner for hair growth. Now, I'm really excited to bring this to you guys because it's a recipe that I've used for years and I've definitely noticed a massive change in the way my hair feels. I've been able to retain length as well over the years and I thought one of you guys might actually benefit from this. So, there you go. Be sure to click the like button guys if you like the video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you've been following me from before or you recently subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate your support and you're very welcome. And if it's the first time you're seeing me, my name is Vanessa. I make videos like this. So if you want to see more, be sure to click the subscribe button and join the family. So let's hop right into the video, guys. Now, the first ingredient we're going to need would be some aloe vera, which is the main ingredient for this recipe. Uh, you guys know already that I love using aloe vera because it's got some amazing properties and I've seen results from using it over the years. Now, if you haven't got the actual plant, you can use the juice, like aloe vera juice from the shop or the gel, uh, basically anything that, you know, has aloe vera in it. I like to use a plant because I know it's all natural, okay? I can only go by what, you know, um, I see pretty much. So, but if you want, use the juice and other things as well. So I'm just starting here with a little bit of aloe vera. Now that last piece is basically um, just a piece of aloe vera I found in my fridge the other day when I was cleaning. I was like, oh God, I didn't even realize I had this piece here. So I just took it and I just, you know, added to um, the recipe that I was making. Now, if you are buying aloe vera regularly, it's very easy to store. Just put foil paper or clean film on, you know, on the part that you've cut and leave it in your fridge and it can stay there for weeks. Like this aloe vera has been in my fridge. I don't even know how long for, cause I even forgot about it. Um, but it was still fine. Okay. So cut the aloe vera into small pieces and then put it all in the blender and then we're going to go ahead now and add our next ingredient which would be some coconut milk now coconut milk is actually amazing for hair growth guys because it's got some amazing benefits now coconut milk is high in protein vitamin e c b and b6 it also slows hair loss restore dry and dry hair and scalp and it gets rid of dandruff as well which is very very good now the next one we're going to go in with will be some emerson powder now emerson powder is actually a sulfur rich compound that has anti-inflammatory properties and also it's been known to help you know promote hair growth because it kind of strengthens their hair and also um, increases the length of time that they hit their hair stays in this anagen phase which is like the growing phase um so that's why msm is probably just worth trying obviously there's lots of different views about msm but i'll suggest you try obviously if it doesn't work for you then you can just you know not use it but i've seen results from using it uh, in the past so you just want to blend all of that together and then you want to strain it and the reason why i want to strain it is just so you can get rid of you know all the pop from the aloe vera because you don't want that um to get stuck in your hair um so i'm using here a wig cap you can use a stocking cap or a tea towel or baby wipes like anything that you've got available to do this it's very very nice and straightforward um i actually didn't tell you guys about the benefits of aloe vera i talked about i talk about this so much that <laughs> you know it just becomes i don't even know but yeah aloe vera we already know is really really great for our hair guys because it helps rejuvenate the hair follicles and it also reduces thinning and also it prevents hair loss uh, it promotes hair growth by helping your hair retain moisture and also clearing dead skin cells off your scalp so yeah it's really really good um, for hair growth and I, as I always say it's worth incorporating into your hair regimen if you're not doing already obviously if you're very sensitive to aloe vera like some people are then it's better to just you know stay away from using it um, but yeah it's just it's just really great now some people find that the the skin when they blend the aloe vera with the skin it, they get really itchy i do i do get that as well and for me to be honest i don't really mind because after a while it just goes away but for this recipe you can do without the skin as well so just scrape the gel from the plant and just blend it and you know follow the whole procedure pretty much but without the skin so um yeah that's me pretty much done with straining it and that's basically what i had left 
behind which is why you didn't you didn't want um, you had to strain it just to prevent that from getting stuck in your hair so just going to proceed with the next part which will be adding some essential oil so i'm using tea tree essential oil here and tea tree oil, tea tree essential oil is actually good at soothing and itchy, itchy scalp it reduces downdraft and flaking prevents excess oil production you know um on the this is m m mainly for the skin actually <laughs> Yeah, tea tree oil is just really good. It also improves the blood flow around your scalp area and basically any area that you, you put it on. It balances the pH level of the scalp. It stimulates hair growth, um, the hair growth cycle, and basically just gives you a nice full hair pretty much. Now, okay guys, so the next one we're gonna go in with will be some peppermint oil. And peppermint oil has actually been shown to promote healthy hair growth. And it also um, has been shown when tested on um on mice that it actually increased the number of follicles and follicle depth and also their overall hair growth so it's actually really really good to introduce this into your hair regimen so you just want to mix all of that in together and then transfer it in your spray bottle actually i transferred it this to my spray bottle and then i realized when i wanted to use it that it wasn't coming out i was like there pressing it for ages and it wasn't working i guess perhaps because this was a very kind of thick it had a really thick consistency so it couldn't really pass through the thing of my um spray bottle so i just transferred it back in a bowl which you would, you're going to see later when i'm applying this to my hair so try your spray bottle it might be different from mine uh, but if it doesn't work that's fine just pop everything in you know a little container and just use it from there is absolutely fine as well and this can actually store very well in the fridge guys so make sure you store it in the fridge because of the coconut milk um so yeah just in case you have some leftover pretty much so i'm just starting here on pretty much dry hair my hair has been washed and conditioned but i just didn't have the time to actually go ahead and you know seal in the moisture in my hair like i normally do after every single wash uh, because i had other things that got me busy so that's why my hair is like this and this actually works really well because you know it's nice that i have this leave-in conditioner that i can now use to you know restore the moisture back in my hair i was actually really excited to show you guys this um so as you will see as the video progresses my hair will definitely change from this dry crusty state to a nice moisturized state pretty much so yeah i'm now going to start here by just parting a small portion of the hair that i'm going to work on i suggest that if you are working on your hair that you always work in sections it just makes it so much easier to handle you're also less likely to um to cause breakage or you know knots and tangles and all of that so sections are very very important for me um so after i section it guys i'm just going ahead and finger detangle so i'm just you know not doing anything crazy just a little bit of finger detangling here just to um to help the comb being process later on so once i finish doing that i'm now going to spray my hair with some water now if you have just washed your hair and you've come out of the shower and your hair is damp you don't really need, need to do this process but it's because my hair was quite dry um so i just wanted to uh, just give it a little bit of moisture before going in with my leave-in conditioner so um yeah so once i finish doing that guys i'm just gonna go ahead now and apply my leave-in conditioner just like i told you before i popped this in a bowl instead just because you know it wasn't coming out of my spray bottle Okay guys, so as you're applying it, just make sure that you massage that well into the hair so that the hair can, you know, all of your hair is covered. You can actually apply this to your scalp as well. Um, I know that, you know, you probably just wash your hair and you don't want any extra buildup, but 
I don't really think I had a lot of build up from this to be honest uh, maybe it's because it's still you know early early days since I last applied it um, but I don't think it gives you build up so you can go ahead and apply this to your scalp so that you know you can nourish your scalp as well and promote hair growth now I'm going in here with my aloe vera and hibiscus oil um, just to seal in the moisture in my hair now I made a video about this so don't worry I've got one coming up soon just make sure that you stay tuned so you just want to make sure you massage that as well so i'm massaging my scalp here now scalp massages are great at promoting hair growth guys because it increases the blood flow to that area so anytime that you do anything to your hair make sure you always massage your scalp so like it really helps so after i finish doing that i'm now ready to go ahead and detangle so i'm using a white tooth um, comb here but you can use a detangling brush if you got one um just to you know finger detangle not finger detangle not just to detangle properly now I always start from the end of your hair and then work your way towards your roots uh, it just makes it easier again prevents knots and tangles and breakage so just yeah it just makes the whole thing a lot easier so once i finish going bring that through guys i'm now going to go ahead and twist that section and then repeat for the rest of my hair pretty much I'm just repeating that for the rest of my hair here guys again make sure that you massage your scalp nicely you know put it on your ends which is the oldest part of your hair and the part that's most likely to break so you want to retain moisture around that area as much as possible if you're trying to retain length so yeah just make sure you cover the hair really well with this and then um yeah and then comb it through and twist it now i actually find that this leave-in conditioner works amazing for a twist out like if you love doing twist outs and maybe you don't want to use like the regular cantu shea butter leave-in conditioner you do you get what i mean like all those other leave-in conditioners you can actually um make this recipe and use it for a twist out it will come out really really good in fact guys if you want me to make a twist out video uh, on this do make sure that you let me know in the comment section below and then i can certainly do that just to show you what my curls look like um after i use this as a leave-in conditioner for a twist out so yeah I, I wouldn't mind actually doing a video uh showing you but yeah it's really great for twist out if you want to um do this other than using you know other um leave-in conditioners Okay guys, I was actually showing you guys what my ends looked like. You can see it was looking nice and juicy, really moisturized. My hair was also shiny, which was really good. Like, I was really happy with this. So I would suggest that you do consider, you know, giving this conditioner a go. And I do hope that you like it as much as I did. You can tell there's a massive difference between the part of my hair that I just did and the part that haven't been done yet. Uh, you can see how moisturized that other side is looking and also really shiny yeah it's really great for your hair guys this leave-in conditioner is great and it has amazing properties that can certainly help promote hair growth so this is it from me today guys thank you so much for watching as always thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video bye